Good morning. Today we will study about desilverization of metal. Okay. And also we will quickly revise the simple detecting system, for example, lead silver system we have studied in the previous class. We will revise quickly. Okay. You see, first you draw the face diagram. What how they will ask question. Uh, draw the face diagram of lead silver system and explain. Okay. First you uh, uh, apply it. You just go back and see the previous video and two, it is a two component system. Lead silver system is a two component system and there are only two phases, solid and liquid in equilibrium. Therefore, uh, uh, applying reduced phase load because there is no vapor. Vapor, uh, there is no vapor. Pressure is kept constant. Therefore, uh, are applying the reduced phase load. What is reduced phase load? F equal to C minus P plus 1. F equal to C minus P plus 2 is normal phase load. Because one pressure is constant, therefore the one degree of freedom is less. Actually, there is there are three degrees of freedom required to explain the system. Uh, since pressure is constant, there are two variables, two degrees of freedom. What are the, how many degrees of freedom? Temperature and the composition. A plot of temperature versus composition for lead silver system is called a phase diagram. First, you draw the phase diagram and uh, you write the label the parts. And uh, so, as we discussed in the previous, there are uh, three points important AC curve, DC curve, and detecting point C. Okay. So, it is very easy. Uh, on this is the melting point of pure lead, this is the melting point of pure silver, 100%. So, on adding uh, silver to lead, the melting point decreases. Similarly, on adding lead to silver, the melting point decreases. So, AC curve, AC curve is uh, melting point or equal to freezing point, melting point or freezing point depression curve, decreasing curve of uh, lead and liquid here liquid melt this is liquid melt in equilibrium with the uh, solid lead therefore if we call the applying the phase load is equal to 1 therefore it is a univariant the, along the curve the system is equilibrium system is univariant next VC curve VC curve this is the melting point or the freezing point depression curve of silver liquid melt is in equilibrium with the solid lead Therefore, applying phase load uh, is equal to 1, which is univariate point, univariate uh, curve, univariate system. Now, let us see the third one, C. So, what is C? The detected point. C is called detected point. The curve AC and the BC means at a point C called detected point where the three phases liquid melt, solid silver, solid lead, or in equilibrium. There are three phases in equilibrium. There are three phases coexist. Coexist solid lead, solid silver, liquid melt. On applying the reduced phase load, if equal to C minus P plus 1, you will get 2 minus P plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, the detected point is called the invariant point. The temperature at, at C is called the detected temperature. This is called detected point. The temperature at the Corresponding to detective point is called detective temperature. Let's see, this is detective temperature and this is detective composition. The um, composition at detective point is called detective composition 2.6% silver, 77% lead remaining. And what is detective mixture? It is not a combo, detective uh, it is a mixture, homogeneous mixture. So it melts at, uh, at a particular temperature, it melts and freezes at a particular temperature, 303. For lead silver system, for other system will be different, and the melting point of detective melting point is the lowest, uh, lower, lowest, and lower than the melting point of uh, pure lead and the pure the silver compounds. Okay, now we can apply the phase diagram for metallurgy, for industrial uh, industry, industrial purposes. How it is uh, applied in uh, metallurgy? For example, desilverization of metal. Argentiferous lead. What is argentiferous lead? It is an alloy. Uh, it is a it is an ore. It is a ore of it is an ore of uh, lead and silver. Okay. So it consists of uh, this ore consists of 0.1 percent silver. Now 
See, uh, you can remove the silver, if you de-silver, you can remove silver, the silver can be extracted, the silver can be extracted, the lead can be purified. So, silver can be extracted from the ardeniferous lead, one, one plus. At the same time, when, when you purify, uh, the silver is subtract and the pure lead is subtract. Now, what is Patinson's process? What is Patinson process? The conversion of 0.1% argentiferous lead into 2.6% argentiferous lead. So, in Patinson's process, the relative percentage of the silver is increased from 0.1% to 2.6% silver. Okay, this is the, this process. How this uh, this process is understood? From the Parkinson's process or desilverization of lead is understood from the phase diagram. For example, I am taking the argentiferous lead okay, in a conductor. 0 0.1% silver is there. This is solid, in solid state. I am heating it so that it melts. So the melt is subtract. Now the 0 0.1%, therefore here it will be like here, H. Let us call the point A. Okay, this condition. This condition is A. Okay, on cooling and cooling, the temperature drops. On cooling, the temperature decreases and it, it reaches a point B. It reaches a point B. On further cooling, it will reach the point C. Okay, along the curve, it will follow the curve until C. Now, during the process, what happens? That is metallurgy. Okay, so uh, let us come to point B on cooling. On cooling, Solid lead on reaching this point, solid lead will separate out. See, on cooling from A to B, solid, solid, see as the solid lead will crystallize or will precipitate and remove and constantly remove. Okay, now on further cooling from B to C, more and more lead will be, more and more lead will be precipitated. At point C, the melt, the melt is richer in silver. Richer in silver, 2.6 percent. This is nothing but uh, the process of Patinson's patent, process. Okay, so this is used for this uh, used for this silverization of lead, removal of lead, obtaining pure uh, pure lead is crystallized uh, salt. Okay, and also um, we are increasing the relative proportion of silver so that silver can be kept. Uh, from the board. Okay, so this is very very important. Uh, we will ask uh, in 10 more question or 15 more question, and also uh, they will ask in several competitive examinations. Uh, this is very very important. What is the tactic system? Uh, what are the various features of the uh, lead silver eutectic system. In general, they will, you can also they will ask uh, discuss the simple eutectic system. Okay, in that case, you put A and you, you put B and you will uh, uh, instead of putting silver, and then you put all A and B. There are A and B system. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching.